Hi and welcome back. Coding the MACT indicator. In the earlier lecture, we have studied the slow moving average and the fast moving average. The MACT is a bit of improvisation on the slow moving average and the fast moving average. MACT stands for moving average convergence divergence. It is simply the difference of two moving averages. So when the fast moving average turns above the slow moving average, the MACD turns from negative to positive. When the fast moving average turns below the slow moving average, the MACD turns from positive to negative. The improvision used in MACD calculation is that instead of simple moving averages, we use the exponential moving average. Exponential moving average attach a weight to the most recent data. Because of the weighing factor, exponential moving average turn even faster than the simple moving average. The MACT line is nothing but the difference of a 12 day exponential moving average and a 26 day exponential moving average. For technical study, we also calculate the signal line which is again a 9 day EMA of the MACT line. So this pane plots three graphs. The center line which is plotted at the zero level, the MACD and the signal line. In this lecture, we will code to plot this MACD and in later lecture we will see how to code the buy and sell rules around the MACD. The code for plotting the MACD is almost similar to the code we used for plotting the moving averages. I will highlight the differences between the two codes. All imported packages are same other than the MACD class. Like earlier, we create a class template called MACD strategy. This template will be later used in a main function to plot the MACD. To compare with the previous code for moving average, we were passing the parameters for the fast and slow moving average. This time, we are passing the parameters for the fast EMA, slow EMA and the signal EMA. Like earlier, we define a function get MACD to fetch the value of the technical indicator. The class generic bar feed needs a short discussion. This is the class used to load bars from the CSV files. The format required for the CSV file is mentioned here clearly. Since we are using time series data with day intervals, we are using the day frequency. If we have intraday data with 1 minute intervals, we have to use the minute frequency. PyAlgo Trade also allows you to automatically download data from Yahoo Finance, Google Finance, Coindrill or NinjaTrader. We will study this later. To plot MACD on a different chart plane, we use the get or create subplot function. The subplot is named as MACD and on the same plot, we graph the MACD value, the signal value as well as the center line. To run this strategy for the first time, Right click and click run. This gives you the proper graph. Notice that even when the MACD is in the positive area, the signal line frequently crosses above and below it. This gives us many points to buy even when the market is moving up. We will plot some more technical studies and then create buy sell rules around each of these studies. Thank you for attentively listening to this short lecture. In the next lecture, we will discuss Relative Strength Index, Bollinger Band and the Z-Score.